We need someone who can light a fire in the voters. The preacher. He helped on those education hearings. I've been hired to manage a campaign for Congress. I'm not a politician. If you don't take on this fight, we could lose everything. God, we trust. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really enjoyed the movie. You did a great job. Um, David, kind of talk about, because this is number, what number God's Not Dead is this? And, um, you know, what what put it on your heart to do the this one about kind of the election? Well, um, thank you. I appreciate that. It's actually our fifth installment, which is hard to believe, of our 10-year reunion. You know, it's the first one came out in 2014. Um, uh, basically, Scott Baio said, I will, uh, I'll be in uh, the next God's Not Dead if you make it. And that was it. And we're like, we got to make another one. Just because Scott Baio has decided to, to join us. I carry us. a lot of weight. He does. <laughs> it's my daughter's well, backpack and golf clubs. <laughs> It's, um, you know, I don't like uh, this question kind of comes up again, like like uh, often about why in the world did you do you make another one, you know, um, and did you ever think that you would be on, you know, uh, on the fifth installment 10 years later? And the answer is unequivocally no. Uh, we hadn't even planned on making a second one or, or, you know, but but with every it seems the way that our country goes and the way our culture moves, it's a God's Not Dead movie kind of just lands right in the middle of that for to open up conversations to kind of bring to light different things that most people don't talk about and other films don't show. And so we feel a little bit of a call to continue to make these when it's put upon us. And that's where God's Not Dead in God We Trust came from. But this specific one, I mean, this was God must have put this on your heart at the right time because it's coming out at the right time. Um, so I'm amazed that that it all worked out. And so what's your, you know, Scott, can you talk about your, um, you know, when you read the script, when you got excited about the project yourself? Yeah, uh, David called me and said, that, you know, we've got this role um, and God's not dead and God we trust coming out September 12th. And I read the script and I I, I like the originals. So uh, the other ones. Um, so I, 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 I'm a very, and I know this isn't a political movie, but it kind of is a political movie, but I'm a very politically minded guy. And I, I just love the fact that um, David was uh, doing this kind of story about uh, um, poli you know, politicians wanting to take God out of everything. And we were talking about that briefly, how they want government to become God. And I don't subscribe to that. I know millions of other Americans don't as well. Um, and then and then David told me a statistic that just blew my mind is that 40 million Christians don't vote. And I was like, well, if I can get, if I can help in any way get some of those people to go out and vote, I'm happy to jump on board. I yes, I didn't realize that there was that many Christians that that didn't vo vote. So I'm I think this is a great message right now. What's your kind of hope, David, about, um, you know, what people kind of feel led to do with this movie and with everything coming up in November? Yeah, I mean, it's an underdog story. You know, there's it's hopefully people get entertained from going to it, but it's um, it's a message of hope. It's a message of stepping out of our comfort zone when we don't want to. Um, I think God kind of uh designs our lives that way it's it's life isn't i mean the longer we live life isn't really always comfortable other than scott bayo over there on the beach you know uh but uh but for the rest of us folks you know it's um there's it comes with so many challenges with in in every facet and and i believe that the lord calls us sometimes to to go hey just like this character i play reverend dave in the movie again um but it's it's a standalone movie and the 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 idea of it is is that if we don't you know he doesn't want to go in the incumbent dies the 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 arch nemesis is a man who just wants to stamp God out of culture out of out of country, and if he doesn't stand up and nobody else wants to run because there's only four weeks left before the election, and so he feels you know called to move in that direction and in the process of it to 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 at least be part of the change 
we so often as believers, uh, you know, so we sit on the sidelines, we armchair quarterback, you know, that stat that's 40 million American Christians don't vote in presidential elections is crazy. And that 15 million of them aren't even registered to vote. And so at the very least, just just cast a vote. <laughs> you know, it's not like we're asking you to solve all of the politics and and uh, and and but if you but if if one person steps out. That's really, a, I think, what God calls us to do is just each and every one of us just to take that first step. And in the process, we'll be amazed at the change that can happen. There's this great line in the movie that talks about, um, it says, you guys were angry when they eliminated prayer in school. Imagine how angry you're going to be when they take God you know, off of our off of our money. It says, in God, we trust for a reason. Our country was built on the biblical principles. Um, uh, our freedoms are based in that. And so... You know, you have no idea what's to come. And I think we've been seeing more and more of that, you know, in our culture. And we never would have imagined this three years ago when this movie started, that it would be as such a time as this, as it is right now. Scott, your character, you play a, a tough cookie over there. Um, can you talk a little bit about your character? And you did a great job. <laughs> well, it's fun to play a kind of a creep. Um, but I, I am the, uh, campaign manager for an act for a guy named Ray Wise, who was the, in, who was running for, um, for the Congress against David. And it's just, he's a win at all, a win at all costs guy. He's brash and he's rude. And, uh, it's, it's just a fun role to play. And, um, I just, I just had a good time. I got to work with Ray Wise, whom everybody knows. And, I didn't get to work with David on this one, but we did another one after that, which I did. Uh, but, you know, you, you the movies are a lot of different pieces of a puzzle. And I was just one of the pieces of a puzzle that, and I was happy to, happy to, to, you know, to finish the puzzle. But you've been in the industry for many years and, you know, does it, for this project, do you pick movies that kind of, pull out your heartstrings or, or, or stuff that you're passionate about or want to make a message about? Uh, uh, sure, you would like to, of course. Uh, not every movie that comes down the pike is uh, is a faith-based movie, but you know, I have a 16-year-old six, daughter. She's a good Christian girl. And um, my choice now would be to do more movies like this because at a certain point in your life, your priorities change. And I want, uh, the, the, the reason I want to do movies like this is because I want my daughter and David's ch and children that I know to grow up in the country that I grew up in. And I feel like it's not even close to the country that 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 we all grew up in. I, you know, we, we were, we were, uh, uh, it's four things for me. It's God fearing, powerful, prosperous, and safe. That's it for me. And right now we're none of those things. So if I can in any way help that, um, I'm happy to do it, which is why I would choose to do more more things like this. Well, I just thought, and maybe to David, you know, I just thought, oh, you know, this is such a great thing that we're doing, right? That you're doing, David and Scott. It's like, you know, you're making a movie that's entertaining. It's well done. And it's about a point that we really need to, you know, think about. And it's a, a point we need to make influence in. Um, and so, you know, I appreciate that you've done this, um, you know, topic. I think it's so important. And I think a lot of, you know, the younger generations and everything don't know where to look for advice on politics and and what what to do in terms of that. So I could see, you know, your concern, Scott, and also you know, I've got kids too, so I worry about that as well here in California. But, um, you know, so I I appreciate that. Thank you so much, guys. And then, David, is there anything else, or or Scott, anything else you want, you know, our audience to know at Movie Guide specifically? Um, you know, we've supported God's Not Dead's in the past, and so is there anything else you'd want to say specifically to the Movie Guide audience? I think just that you know, obviously, it's September twelfth is a big. That's a big weekend. Um, uh, it hits theaters and, and it all, you know, just even as a first step, when people show up to theaters, you know, it's it's they're casting their vote when they when you buy a ticket to basically send a message to Hollywood saying, you know, we support more 
we support these movies and there's a place for these movies in Hollywood. And, uh, and it also sends a message to say, Hey, leave us in the theaters longer. Um, because you, you know, if, if the audience doesn't come the same way as in an election, you know, the outcome is, uh, is not the same. And so, um, you know, cast your vote for the movie first, show up on that opening weekend. It's so important. And then, you know, at the end of the movie, there's a, there's a QR code to register to vote for all those people who are not registered to vote. And I would say just register to vote and vote, you know, come November 6th. Like it doesn't matter which side of the aisle you're on, but just have your voice because if you don't do it, somebody else will, and you're not gonna like what they're doing. We need to stand up. Send a message to Washington. Tell them you're not ready to give that power up. You have the power to change things, not me. Not him, you. In God we trust. And without God, democracy will not and cannot long endure. If you enjoy videos that follow your values like ours and you want to help us continue, uh, go to movieguide.org slash donate because we're actually a nonprofit. You may not know that, but we're working in Hollywood every day to help families have more choices that follows their values. And also subscribe right now.